Let's go back to Monday Night Football, shall we? Virgil van Dijk, man of the match. Impressive performance from him at Selhurst Park. Go this way, because it's easy to see why. Eight clearances uh, last night for the centre-back. That's five more than any other teammate. Joe Gomez had the next best with three. And van Dijk also dominated in the air as well. He won nine of his 16 aerial duels, the most in the game, and he was facing one of the Premier League's most physical strikers, Christian Benteke, who won seven, uh, seven of his 13. What he will do is he'll intimidate other players of the opposition. Uh, go on for heavy, don't want to go up against Van Dijk, he's jumping, his big arms are up, he's knocking people out of the way. So he actually probably scares people when that ball's coming in that box. And... We just see now the goal now from Mane just goes round the keeper. But what I'm saying is, without the big header at the start, Liverpool maybe have to defend for another minute. Who knows what could happen? You wondered if you wanted to get on the end of it as well. <laughs> He's up to the halfway line. If they get down on the other end and scored, they wouldn't be giving a man of the match if he was up there. <laughs> but I think that just shows it. It's, Winning it, pushing out, getting up and behind it. And that's what you want. Gary's mentioned it before about the counter-attack. Now Liverpool would have wanted a little bit earlier. Maybe should have got a little bit earlier. I think they, they went great going forward. And at times I thought Salah it was a little bit selfish. Should have laid people in now and again. I think he was so desperate to score. But finally got the job done. We, we, we know Liverpool are good going forward. We said before the game tonight at the very beginning, the reason that I'm the most nervous that I've been uh, as someone, as a Manchester United f fan of Liverpool potentially challenging for the league title is because they're now achieving clean sheets, they're now looking authoritative at the back, they're now not creating, your teams aren't creating a lot of chances against them. The performance over a sustained long period of time, 31 matches now, where they conceded only 22 goals in 31 matches, that is championship type patterns and numbers. And that's the real chance that Liverpool have. They'll always score goals with the players they have going forward. But if he can stay fit, Van Dijk, if the goalkeeper can show the form that he's shown tonight, they are a massive threat to Manchester City this season. So just how has Van Dijk impacted Liverpool's defence? Well, since he joined the club from Southampton in January, he's played 17 league games, team conceding 13 goals in that time, eight clean sheets, and that is just 0.76 goals conceded per game. Now, before he signed, Liverpool have played 91 league games under Jurgen Klopp, 107 goals conceded in that time, 28 clean sheets, and look at that, goals conceded per game going up to 1.18.